Welcome. In this video, we will discuss tax deadlines in Canada. If you run a sole proprietorship or your spouse earned business income, the deadlines are as follows. There is first the payment deadline, which is April 30th of the year following the December 31st year end. Since this date fell on a weekend this year, taxes for the 2022 fiscal year could be paid on May 1st, 2023 without penalty. Next is the filing deadline, which is June 15th of the year following the December 31st year end. If you run a corporation, the deadlines are as follows. First is the payment deadline for a small Canadian controlled private corporation or CCPC that claimed the small business deduction in the current or previous year and had taxable income that did not exceed $500,000 in the previous fiscal year. This date is three months after the year end. And for other corporations, it is two months after the year end. And next is the filing deadline, which is six months after the corporation's year end. Just like an employer would deduct tax directly from each pay period, if you are a self-employed individual, you must make installment payments to the CRA. If you are a sole proprietor or your corporation has net tax owing greater than 3000 for provinces except Quebec and 1800 for Quebec. If you run a sole proprietorship or a small CCPC, quarterly installments must be made by these dates, March 15th, June 15th, September 15th, and December 15th. A CCPC is a private corporation. It is a corporation that was resident in Canada and was neither incorporated in Canada or resident in Canada from June 18th, 1971 to the end of the tax year. It is not controlled directly or indirectly by one or more non-resident persons. If you run a non-CCPC, monthly installments must be made during the year. If you are a self-employed GST HST registrant, you must file a GST HST return even if you have no income to report. The deadlines based on your reporting periods are as follows. First, there are monthly and quarterly filers who must pay amounts owing and file the return within one month after the end of the reporting period. Next, we have annual filers except individuals with December 31st year ends who must pay amounts owing and file the return within three months after the end of the reporting period. And last, we have annual filers who are individuals with December 31st year ends and they must pay amounts owing and file the return by April 30th and June 15th of the year following the tax year for which the return is being filed. These additional resources are all directly from the Government of Canada website. The first link provides deadlines for self-employed individuals and includes some online tools to help you file and set up payments through online banking. The next link is to help determine if you have to pay tax installments. And the last link provides additional due dates and deadlines for when to file your return. Thank you for watching.